With the economic downturn hitting hard on the nation, states are finding alternative ways to raise their internally generated revenue and plow same back into infrastructure development. Kwara State is not an exception. The infrastructure fund is a chain of system and it's one of the systems that we've been building for. What did you charge us with? You ask these questions. How do we remain viable? How do we survive? How do we sustain ourselves? How do we emerge stronger? And how do we ensure that we never go back? We never go back to looking at the federal government to sustain us. We never go back to looking at petrodollar to sustain us. So what do we do? We simply set this target that we set for us. This gathering, the first in the state since the nation went into recession, has captains of industries, traditional leaders, senior civil servants, contractors, and foreign consultants in attendance. Members of corporate world and business community are present. They're proposing a five billion naira investment fund for infrastructure, an idea the state government believes is a good alternative to the monies shared from the federal purse every month. In order to ensure accountability and isolate the funds from political control. The IFK will be managed by a reputable investment company, Investment One, which has been appointed by law as trustee for the scheme. Investment One is also to market and fund, is also expected to market the fund to potential investors and mitigate against payment risks by ring fencing the funds and limiting their utilization to the approved purposes for which they are being earmarked. In other words, the trustees are independent of the state government and will only disburse funds upon presentation of a certified certificate of completion and at agreed project milestones. If this new funding method succeeds, many believe it's a template that can be replicated by other states so they can fund their own development and reduce the dependence on monies shared from the Federation account.